Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkin and you're watching the weekly review of financial markets on Insta TV. The US equities market ended quite a turbulent week on a cheerful note thanks to a rise in oil prices and rather tranquil forex market that contributed to a boost in investors' confidence. The Swiss National Bank stunned markets by abandoning its franc ceiling against the euro. At the same time, unstable oil prices and concerns over global deflation put pressure on the stock market last week. The S&P ended up 1.3% at 2019.42, though it lost 1.2% over the week. Rising oil prices supported the energy sector. The Dow Jones Industrial Average added more than 190 points, hitting the level of 17,511.57. However, the weekly decline in the index of blue chip stocks totaled 1.3%. The tech-heavy Nasdaq rose by 1.4% to 4,634.38, losing 1.5% over the week. The stock market has been extremely unstable in the last two months as a decline in oil prices as well as slow economic growth in Europe and Asia fueled concerns about the U.S. economy failing to resist deflationary pressure. On Friday, the report showed that U.S. consumer prices slid by 0.4% in December, marking the sharpest fall since late 2008. The decrease took place on the back of a collapse in prices for gasoline and other fuels. However, core inflation that excludes foods and energy prices was flat, thus disappointing analysts who had expected a slight rise. In the meantime, the U.S. industrial production contracted by 0.1% in December, while the Thomson Reuters and University of Michigan's preliminary reading on the Consumer Sentiment Index came in at 98.2 in January, the highest since 2004. Stock trading of the Asian and the U.S. largest currency broker FXCM was halted after shares dropped by 88 percent in pre-market trading. It experienced significant losses generated by the extreme volatility in the Swiss franc. Lucadia National announced on Friday it was giving FXCM a $300 million cash infusion to help it meet the regulatory capital requirements. Goldman Sachs Group has been among the losers after its currency and commodity trading revenue sharply declined. Goldman Sachs Group shares plunged by 0.7 percent, the lowest since October. Goldman Sachs posted the lowest annual trading revenue since 2005. And this was the weekly review of financial markets prepared for you by InstaTV team. Thank you and see you next week. Bye.